Big news out of Indonesia, everybody. Tesla is going to Indonesia. Okay, so let me start here. Uh, Tesla is looking to build a lithium battery raw material factory in Indonesia, claims a report on the website, the web Tesla fan website, Tesla Rati. Here's the uh, CNN Indonesia report on the matter. Indonesia's president, Joko Widodo, spoke to Elon Musk in a phone call about the prospect of Tesla mining nickel in Indonesia, as well as the possibility of building a battery factory in Indonesia. Now, nickel and lithium are the most important minerals in producing batteries, and while lithium is actually easily available, uh, nickel is much harder to come by, so securing a good source of nickel is crucial to you know, the long-term viability of a you know, battery production operation. And Indonesia has a huge deposit of nickel in a province called Morowali in central Sulawesi, which makes it very, very attractive. Now, President Widodo also floated the possibility of building a SpaceX launch pad in Indonesia. Now, that would be truly awesome. Uh, I think that would be have, have uh, significant you know, knock-on effects for the region as a whole, and I you know, would fully support it. Uh, go, go, Joko Widodo. Uh, I think it's a great idea, and you know, President Joko Widodo has been really aggressive in fighting the uh, pandemic's uh, dampening effect on the economy. Um, he passed a new a sign into a law, the new job creation law uh, against enormous street protests and anger. Yeah, um, loads and loads of protests uh, all around the country against the law, but as a, you know, it was said to weaken worker and environmental protections. But, you know, as a student of economics, I think that was necessary. Absolutely necessary. The existing laws, as I understand it, uh, protect jobs, you know, to the extent that they do currently today. But they would do nothing to help a slumping, you know, pandemic economy ravaged by all the uh, disease. And nobody wants that, right? So in order to fix you know the bad situation you're in you have to take uh different measures but you know at some point in the future when those uh the job creation law has done its job and jobs you know everybody has their jobs it'd be really nice for everybody to be able to sit down you know over a nice dinner uh and debate it with their jobs so jobs it is for a time being, at least. And uh, let's see. Oh, did you know President Jokowi's government also started the study for building a next generation nuclear power plant? Now, this is a bold step in Southeast Asia, and I've been uh, keeping an eye on this. And this was uh, just at the start of the year. Uh, the company is called Thorcon, Thorcon International, based in Washington has been pushing to build an experimental nuclear power plant in Indonesia over the past five years. Now, it says here, unproven technology and regulatory limitations. Uh, this is the Jakarta Post. Uh, but uh, the truth is, this, uh, this is what they call Gen 4 nuclear power. Uh, and it is the kind that is in use in like nuclear submarines, you know, and uh, aircraft carriers, and it's You've never heard of a problem with uh, aircraft carrier, you know, aircraft carrier, nuclear reactors, have you? Lots of ships actually use these new, um, very robust nuclear reactors with no problems. So it's not exactly unproven, not by a long shot. And, but there is some innovation here. It seems that, okay, they want to, rather than build it on land, they want to build a 500 megawatt, which is uh, supposed to be like really uh, substantial floating nuclear nuclear power plant uh, and the site has not been chosen yet yeah and it appears that the regulators are uh, still going through the process like evaluation process this they do have you know um, a small small one being built which will only be I think what was it 50 50 megawatts 
sorry, not here, uh, over here on energycentral.com. Yes, Thorcon is to develop a 50 megawatt thorium fuel reactor in Indonesia that will eventually lead to 500 megawatt units in shipyards. So this is a, this is a big deal. This is a bit really, really big deal because uh, economies are driven by energy. Uh, a booming economy needs a whole lot of energy and it's important to get very, very cheap energy, you know, however you can. And uh, I think that the, there just isn't enough understanding about the four, Gen 4 nuclear reactors. If you want to, feel free to Google it, Gen 4 nuclear reactors. Uh, it'll give you a better understanding about uh, what is what we're talking about and why it is considered the safest uh, nuclear option yet. They're entirely different from the old kind of design. Now, let me show you. Here's the, there is a fact sheet that was uh, created, produced by Thorcon. Here it is. You can see that, you know, it's hosted on thorconpower.com. Uh, here are some of the specs. Now, it's mostly pretty dry, um, but there is a little bit that I want to show. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at this. The electricity cost will be three cents per kilowatt hour. That, I don't know about you, but that sounds really cheap to me. Um, and what is it here? Walk away safe. Now this is the one that I wanted to show you. And an, an abandoned plant will self cool for one and a half years before attention is required. The, the idea being that you could actually just walk away and it would, just cool itself down the when you think about you know nuclear power disasters uh in the past it would be things like um the chernobyl you know nuclear accident where there was a problem you leave it alone and then without you know if you don't go through all the steps to uh shut it down you know and cease the reaction it will eventually melt down and destroy itself but the gen 4 nuclear reactors are designed in a way such that if you don't actively, you know, like supply power to the to generator, if you're not actively, you know, uh, if you don't have a switch on to supply power to keep it running, it will eventually stop. It will it will by default be unable to continue. That's the design of it. Okay, so that's that's really interesting. All right. Uh, speaking of regulation, President uh, President Jokowi's government uh, banned the uh, export of raw, unrefined um, nickel in January. So let me see. Uh, banned. Yeah. Export ban on nickel in January, a move that's prompt meant to prompt miners to develop smelters and produce higher value products. So it's a foster the growth of higher value industry. Now, wholly consistent with the move to attract Tesla. So, and now, you know, uh, President Jokowi's personal touch in speaking of Elon Musk is, you know, yet another move that holds long-term promise. Now, to sum up, you know, I would say that, you know, President Jokowi didn't have um, a choice whether to face the pandemic of a lifetime. In fact, he was so frustrated uh, that his cab cabinet did not share his sense of urgency about the pandemic, that he gave him a very intense, by Indonesian standards, intense scolding that was eventually uh, leaked to the media. Here we go. President Jokowi unleashed his fury on his ministers for, his ha for the handling of the COVID pandemic. Uh, the President Palace released a video of Mr. Oh, sorry, they released it. Dressing down his cabinet at a June 18 meeting and it soon went viral. Uh, to, I think, you know, the whole country's uh, immense enjoyment, of course. So, President Jokowi is turning, you know, adversity into opportunity. And maybe in time, you know, we will all look back on 2020 as the year that launched Indonesia into the stars. Okay, uh, with that, that... That wraps up my segment about um, Tesla and Indonesia and, you know, the transformation that is taking place in Indonesia. So here's a little aside. Uh, 
the place where they are planning to build the uh, nickel plant in Indonesia, it's that the scale of the place, it looks pretty enormous. And I just wanted to share that. It's called the Morowali Industrial Park, and it looks huge. And this, uh, you know, has one of the world's largest uh, nickel deposits. The water around it looked beautiful. I think Sulawesi is not, uh, not heavily developed. So this will be kind of isolated. Uh, and yeah, there's a high chance now that, or yeah, there's a there's a decent chance, you know, uh, that there will be a Tesla battery plant there in the future. Apparently, there will be a team from Tesla visiting Indonesia in January and they'll uh, evaluate it. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. And oh, sorry, I didn't show everybody. Here it is. Yeah, the enormous site. Huge industrial area. And there's a official website, I believe. IMIP.co.id. Uh, there are a lot of Chinese companies already mining in the area. And so, you know, it will be a, not a, you know, a project starting from scratch, but something that piggybacks on uh, efforts that have already been made to develop the area. Okay. Thank you everyone for listening. And once more, smash that like button and subscribe, you know, if you want to hear more. Thank you and talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.